Hello, Rod Kane here, member of the Washington Grand Team. Uh, I just want to take a moment up from uh, basing my Vendel Greeks, which you can see in the background, uh, to talk about the Triumph Printed Rulebook. Uh, as you, many of you may know, uh, or many of you may not, the PDF version of these rules have been available through Wargame Vault. Uh, see the link at the bottom of this video. Uh, for some time now, but we now have the mass production run of the printed rule books available, and these are available through Scale Creep Miniatures, and that link is also at the bottom of this video. Um, this is the physical hard copy of the rules, which, as you can see, uh, beautiful color cover, uh, nice cover on the back, a little historical quote reference there. Uh, it's spiral bound, so it lays nice and flat on the table. It starts out with a nice table of contents, so easily references the uh, sections and the rules pertinent to the question you might have when you're trying to just look up something quickly. It also has a really nice index in the back which uh, is handy for some specific terms, so things that might come up during the game. Um, the rule book's kind of laid out um, in the method that you'd play the game. It's oriented around a 48-point uh, one-on-one game, so the rule book kind of laid out as how you'd go about setting up that game and playing that game. Uh, you can see lots of nice eye candy in the form of pictures hidden throughout the, or spaced throughout the rules, uh, as well as designer notes, which are handy to give you an idea of why some rules are the way they are. If you had that question, they kind of the, the author's t talking out loud. The other nice thing is it's filled with a lot of really useful uh, diagrams on specific play aspects of the game, um, which is very helpful as you're trying to explain the rules because obviously a picture is worth a thousand words when it comes to explaining some of these mechanisms. The book itself um, contains everything you need to play the game, um, all of the information on the rules, uh, basic information about unit types. Uh, it walks you through the game kind of in the sequence that you actually would play a game, starting with setting up, initial movement, combat, outcomes from combat. And then in the end, it has a set of appendices, which will include the troop types, um, important things for miniature gamers, obviously, how to base your units. Uh, the combat factors are summarized in the combat tables as well as a really useful troop description. This troop description is also available on MeshWesh, which you'll find a link at the bottom of this video as well. MeshWesh is where you can find the 650 uh, plus and counting army list, historical army list for this game. Um, so the troop types are listed here. And then also at the back of the appendices, you'll find um, useful information about MeshWesh itself, how to use it, a sample army, additional diagrams for more detailed description on certain aspects of the rules. And in the very back of the book, a sample battle card, another special aspect of the rules that we'll talk about later in another video probably. And then terrain cards. Um, the terrain cards are available through Wargame Vault as a purchasable set of actual cards. However, they're also in the back of the book itself so that you can just use dice and roll the terrain card setup. And in the rules, you'll find that the, the system has a very unique uh, setup for laying out a basic table for a one-on-one -on -one game using these terrain cards. All in all, um, a really nice rule book. Uh, the book retails for $30. Like I said, available through Scale Creep uh, Miniatures online. Um, and uh, very excited about this product. And I hope that some of you will go out there and take a look at it. And uh, we'll do some more videos later about how to play the game and uh, different aspects of the game. Thanks for watching.